Last summer, two comets were discovered that are on a collision course with Earth. It's a favorite Hollywood plot, saving the Earth from an asteroid impact. It's what we call a global killer, the end of mankind. Here in Washington, scientists are planning how they do exactly that. Astronomers from China, Russia, Europe and the United States are coordinating their efforts. The threat from outer space does not distinguish between religion, culture. It will not say, OK, Muslims, Jewish, Christians, women, men, black, white. It doesn't matter. So what I'm saying is that we have to work together. Only working together will enable us to um, win that threat. More than 1,000 people were injured and 7,000 buildings destroyed when a meteor crashed in southwest Russia in 2013. Scientists say events like that are expected roughly every 60 years. But NASA warns there's a small but very real risk of much bigger asteroids hitting our planet. When you look around here, there's all sorts of different plans about how to protect the Earth from an asteroid. The point of this conference is to try and work out which of those methods would be best used in each scenario. Part of the job is detecting any outer space object early enough to give scientists on Earth time to react. The longer you have, the less you need to deflect it, the less, uh, the less force you need. So it, it becomes an easier problem. Uh, there are a few techniques that could be used to deflect an asteroid, and the simplest one is the kinetic impactor. Smash something into it. In 2021, NASA hopes to launch the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART. The plan is to crash a satellite into an asteroid moon far from the Earth and measure the change in its course. Other plans include using gravity to drag an asteroid off course or deploying nuclear weapons to destroy it. With so many threats to the planet already happening on Earth, part of the challenge is convincing world leaders of the external danger of asteroids. NASA says the costs of developing planetary defense systems are modest and well worth the investment. Harry Horton, CNA, Washington.